Welcome back to Wise and Company, everybody. I'm Ben. And I'm not. <laughs> Welcome back to Wise Men Company, everybody. I'm Ben. And I'm Noah. Today we're going to be talking about medical stuff from Wild Hedgehog Tactical, or WH Tactical, as some of you might know. Um, let's get right into it. Uh, we haven't rearranged anything on this medical pack. This is their uh, bigger, more uh, loaded out medical kit. It's got a ton of stuff in it. Um, comes in this Maxpedition carrier, which is really cool. EMT shears on the side are with it as well. We haven't moved anything in this kit. This is exactly how it comes. And uh, we're going to dive into it with a closer look. Noah here is a little bit more experienced in the medical realm than I am. He's taken some classes, uh, CPR certified, all that jazz. So we're going to take a closer look. We're going to bring the camera up close and open it up and go through it piece by piece. Let's do it. All right, guys, here's the outside of the pack, the carrier, if you will. It's from Maxpedition. They make these, so you know it's high quality right off the bat. EMT shears on the outside, that's included in this kit. You got your uh, hook and loop here for your Wild Hedgehog Tactical morale patch. Um, and, of course, the outside of the pack has some molly, so you can do some add-on stuff. Uh, I typically run a Lunar Concepts. Uh, Swift TQ carrier on the outside fits nicely right in front. Just gives me another tourniquet. Um, as you guys know, you probably can't have too many tourniquets in your pack. But let's get right into it, and Noah is going to dive in piece by piece. So this does open the full way, so you can lay it nice and flat. I always like that in a med kit. Um, but go ahead, get into some of these bits and pieces. Yeah, real quick, just again on the outside, these are five and a half inch trauma shears. So the nice thing about these, for those of you who don't know, is they're designed so that they don't cut the person, but they can cut the clothes, cut webbing, cut off belts, those kinds of things. So uh, um, it is nice to have those uh, uh, right there. Uh, first thing here is a SWAT T uh, tourniquet. Uh, these things are great. Uh, they make uh, great uh, tourniquets for small limbs, uh, children, things like that, as well as animals. Uh, they use them a lot with uh, um, service dogs, things like that. They also make great pressure bandages. Um, so uh, um, we re we carry these. We love these. They're very very nice to have. Uh, um, Next here, you have, we can go the other direction here, is your Israeli bandage. Uh, uh, again, uh, a pressure bandage. Highly recommend these. These are, these are great. Uh, um, these, uh, I pack this on the wound. After you've packed the wound, you put this on, wrap it around, strap it down. This is the four inch? And uh, um, I believe that this is a four inch. Yep, yes. four inch. So that's the smaller one. Yep. Uh, but yeah, these are awesome. Uh, uh, triangular bandage. This is to you make slings, things along those lines. Handy to have. You have another pouch here. And in here, uh, uh, we have a small uh, uh, lock sack, uh, um, keeps everything uh, uh, watertight. Just so that you have an idea, there's like four hand sanitizer wipes in there, uh, two ammonia inhalants, medical tape, there's two tampons, uh, um, there's two uh, um, burn gel packs, uh, there are four iodine wipes, there's stereo strips, uh, gauze pads, assorted band-aids. Um, I believe in there is a CPR face shield. Uh, um, so, I mean... Actually, here's the CPR face oh, shield. Oh yeah, there it is. It's, it's adjacent from it, but yes, that is included. So, uh, um, and just a side note on that, if you guys haven't gotten CPR first aid training, that's the basis. Like, that's like the basics of what you will need. Now, I can't stress enough the importance. Um, I, I really feel that it's important for people to, to get that training. It's not expensive. Um, go out, spend, a, spend four hours, eight hours uh, um, to get the advanced one. Uh, uh, go ahead and do it. Uh, also in that same pocket is a gauze sponge, uh, um, two of those. Uh, uh, moving over onto this side, uh, um, here is uh, uh, compressed gauze. 
Uh, what's nice about compressed gauze is that it's uh, very small, but then it, uh, as it um, absorbs liquid, it expands. It's sort of like those uh, toys that you used to play with as a kid where they would come in like a little pill and then it would, uh, when you put it in water, it would go out. So this is great for packing a wound because you can get it down into the hole and then if you were bleeding or hemorrhaging, um, it actually expands to help fill that cavity. Uh, um, this is your uh, uh, gloves uh, uh, so that you have that. Anytime you're working with someone that you, if you happen to come a, on a trauma scene, something like that, if you don't know the person and you can get gloves on, highly recommend getting them on just to protect yourself and them from any type of... And you would say that's a time thing, right? I mean, obviously you want to get the gloves on, but I mean, if you got somebody like spouting blood, just like pouring out of them, you probably should weigh your priorities there. Is True. that right? Yeah, it is. The The thing is, is that, again, the gloves are there to protect you right, um, right, from right. blood-borne uh, um, pathogens. So, you know, it's one of those things that you, you have to weigh. Uh, um, and you're absolutely right. Uh, I, at that moment, seconds matter. So it's important. Uh, um, but if you do have the opportunity, I do recommend that you get those on. Uh, um, here is uh, Cellox. Um, and this is, this is I should have stated previously, this is a part of the advanced kit, uh, the, the Cellox uh, Rapid right here. Um, there's two different versions of the Get Home Alive Medical. There's a, um, a more expensive one with the Cellox, because obviously this stuff is a little bit pricey, and then you can get it without it, correct? Correct. There's two kits, and there are three things in the advanced kit that are in the basic kit. Uh, um, one of them being the, the Cellox. Uh, um, and so this is a Z-fold gauze uh, um, that has the uh, Cellox or, or quick clot essentially uh, um, built right into the gauze. The Z-fold is very nice. It keeps you from accidentally dumping gauze onto the ground. Uh, one of the problems with rolled gauze is that you're in a high stress situation, you rip that package open, you start to stuff it, and then your gauze goes rolling across the ground. Now you're shoving in all kinds of dirt and stuff if you pull that off or you, or you can't use your gauze. The Z-fold is compact and it allows you to pull it out almost like uh, if you think of how tissues pull out of a, a tissue box, it's that same concept. Um, so here is a uh, survival blanket or a thermal blanket. Uh, these are incredibly important in uh, shock situations. Uh, you want to keep people warm uh, um, in any type of uh, trauma situation, but these will uh, come in very handy uh, uh, for something along those lines. And those really work. If you guys ever get a chance, wrap yourself up in one of these uh, space blankets or thermal blankets, whatever you want to call them, you will get hot quick. Uh, they really trap the heat. They're awesome. All right, and here is the hyphen uh, uh, chest seal. There's uh, uh, two of these. This is something again that comes in the advanced pack and again this is something that I would highly recommend that uh, if you haven't had instruction or training on, on using it, uh, don't get the advanced kit. Uh, um, at the same time, if you have an opportunity to take some type of a combat medicine class or a um, first responder medical class or a trauma class where they go over how to deal with sucking chest wounds and how the uh, um, chest seals work, uh, uh, then absolutely have these. And, uh, and they are a, a great tool. Um, but again, if you, I, I, I would highly recommend that you get training from somebody who has used these um, or is in the medical profession uh, um, before you know just going out and getting something like this. Uh, but these are great in a trauma kit for the range. Um, uh, taking for, a class. Yeah, for any place where, uh, uh, even hunting, um, because yeah. if you fall out of a tree, uh, um, honestly, puncture to the chest, like you can do all kinds of things. Uh, so they are very handy. Uh, um, they do have directions on how to use them if you haven't had training, but it is one of those things that I would recommend getting some instruction on. Yep. 
Now, this is also another one of those things that if you haven't had instruction on how to use, this comes in the advanced kit. This is a 28-gauge uh, narrow a nasal pharyngeal, um, if I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, this is essentially slides into your uh, nasal cavity and goes down into the back of your throat if you're having difficulty uh, breathing. Um, it helps to keep that airway open for someone. Uh, there are oral versions of this versus nasal. There's a lot of uh, debate on which one is uh, uh, more effective, things like that. And on the back of that, uh, attached right with it, is some, uh, uh, it's a, a, a lubricant, lubricant um, that allows it to slip down the, the nose. I am not going to demonstrate how these work. Um, <laughs> I have been in class and watched, uh, I have a good friend who will just stick these things right down his nose <laughs> all the time. Um, no big deal, but um, when done properly, uh, um, the angled side follows along and it just slides down and you just sort of twist it in there and it, it's supposed to go in really easily. Uh, um, and it is uh, uh, very nice if, if you need to have that. So. Again, that comes in the advanced kit. And this is a splint. Uh, um, for uh, some people out there, you may have heard of what's called a SAM splint. Um, this is the same concept. It's essentially an aluminum, uh, a, that is, a piece of aluminum that is backed up with here with like a foam. And you can shape this around an ankle, um, around a leg, around an arm. So this is actually really handy to have in a first aid kit and not a lot of people um, have that. And that's one of the one things about the WHT that is sort of unique. You don't see this in a lot of the uh, med kits that are out there and it is something that I do recommend. Yeah. Well, guys, what I like about this kit is it's complete. I don't have to shop around, like buy a kit and then, okay, I'm gonna need to add this and add this after I get it. No, it is a one-stop shop for all your trauma needs. It, it really is. Um, even down to the splint and stuff like that. Like Noah said, you don't see these in a lot of kits, but they found a way creatively to pack this all in one tight, compact kit. Uh, it is it is really great, and also, it's really great for the money. You are getting a lot of stuff for an insanely good price. Yeah, $89, I believe, is for the basic kit, and $139, I believe, for the advanced kit. Yeah, I mean, this is this is... Believe me when I say it, and I think Noah will agree, this is a great price for all this gear in a med kit that's ready to go. Absolutely. All right, guys, so that's the Wild Hedgehog Tactical Get Home Alive Medical Kit. A very complete kit with high quality items in there, covers all your bases. Guys, if you like this video, hit that like button and share it with your buddies. We would really appreciate it. Absolutely, and if you've made it this far in the video, this is your first time with us, please take a moment and hit that subscribe button so that you're informed when we uh, have new videos. The guys, medical is a big deal for me, so uh, please, uh, even if it's not this kit, uh, consider getting out there, building your own. There's a lot of great videos out there. Do something. Uh, uh, make sure that you're out there because remember here at Wiseman Company, we're all about being prepared, being armed, being informed, and being involved. So be prepared for situations that are going to come. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you on the next video, guys. See ya.